I completed the rebuild of this the steering knuckle here, which goes to this 1949 Studebaker 2R5 half ton pickup truck that me and my sister are in the process of restoring. And earlier today, I removed the old bushings, put in the new bushings, and then reamed out the bushings to fit the kingpin here. As you can see, it should be able to slide right through. You shouldn't have to hammer it or anything like that. And so now I'm ready to install this steering knuckle onto this front axle of my Studebaker. Uh, the parts that go with the kingpin kit, uh, the kingpin as I just talked about, it also has a flat edge here uh, that goes facing away from you when you go to put that in. And to help with the aligning that, there is a series of numbers on here that you can use to orient where that slot is. That slot goes for this tapered key here, which is smaller here on this end and it goes to regular size. That key goes into the back side here and slides in and locks into the kingpin, keeping the kingpin secured in the, on the front axle. We also have this thrust bearing, which goes with it. This is the top side of it. Uh, this is the bottom side. It will go underneath here on the axle. You'll see in just a second. And then we have a series of shims that we use to help make sure there's no up and down play uh, between the steering knuckle and the front axle itself. And with that, we'll go ahead and begin putting it together. I've got my steering knuckle here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put my thrust bearing on there. I'm going to grab my kingpin, slide this up, slide the kingpin in to the front axle. Slide it all the way down. And I'm actually going to push it through and allow myself some room to st in, pl in place some of the shims there. Uh, once you got all that in, what you need to do is lift up on this steering knuckle and then right inside of here between the steering knuckle and the front axle is where you're going to start putting those shims to remove the free play. So there's one shim. There's a second. Third, there goes a fourth one, and there's the fifth one, just barely got the fifth one in there. So now I can set it down, I'm going to push the kingpin back up, try to get it lined up. And now what you want to do is you want to take this tapered key, flat side towards you, and the small end first, coming through the back side here slide it into there and then just kind of work your kingpin uh, so you can get it to go into there. And there it goes. You can see it has worked in right there. I'll take my ball peen hammer and I'll go ahead and knock that in further and get it flush right there. Uh, and then that will complete that process. But right now that's my there's no play up and down. And then the last thing you want to do is you got these end caps here and they're really there to protect the inside here, to keep dirt and water out of there as much as possible and also to keep grease inside of the steering knuckle. Because uh, you do have two grease uh, points here that you can grease these and keep them lubricated so you'll put, you'll put these in, secure those in and then that will complete the installation of the steering knuckle on your frame. Uh, hopefully uh, this will help somebody else out there. Thank you very much. Bye.